Imagine this. You're throwing a ball at a wall. You expect the ball to bounce back to you, right? Well, what if the ball ended up passing through the wall? In classical mechanics, you will observe the ball bouncing back due to the con conservation of energy exhibited by classical particles. Within quantum mechanics, though, the ball possesses both particle and wave-like properties, resulting in interesting phenomena presenting themselves. Once you step into quantum mechanics, the possibility of the ball simply phasing through the wall is not beyond reason. This phenomenon of objects passing through barriers is referred to as quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling is an occurrence exhibited purely within quantum states and enables particles to pass through barriers that they do not have high enough energy to overcome, ending in seemingly impossible outcomes. This phenomenon is commonly explained through the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, coupled with properties suggested by the wave-particle duality theory. The wave-particle duality theory suggests that particles can act as either particles or waves at different moments. This variable view of masses opens the consideration for more complex forms of motion. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle, on the other hand, states that it is not possible to know the exact momentum and position of a particle at the same time. This can be stated as the uncertainty in a particle's momentum multiplied by the uncertainty in a particle's position must be greater than half of Planck's constant. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle plays a strong role in the explanation of quantum tunneling. The principle stated uncertainty in a particle's position makes it impossible to determine the exact position of a particle, creating a field of potential locations for a particle. Because of this concept, one would find it impossible to claim that a particle cannot be on the other side of a barrier as opposed to being constrained within one side of it. The first person to actively discuss the tunneling of particles was the German physicist Friedrich Hund. He published a paper studying the outer electrons of double potential wells and their corresponding spectrums. His results displayed a distinctive disconnection between the beliefs surrounding classical orbitals and quantum wave functions leading to further research regarding the locations of atoms within symmetric potentials. With further research, he discovered that particles may oscillate between the ground and excited states by means of a mechanism deemed similar to quantum tunneling. Not long after Hund's discovery, numerous physicists were witnessing the same phenomenon within their personal research. In 1927, Lothar Nordheim noted tunneling occurring while studying the reflections of electrons on surface barriers. Around this time, Julius Robert Oppenheimer derived the relevant equations to calculate the ionization rate of hydrogen from a 3D perspective. With this new information, George Gamo, Ronald Gurney, and Edward Condon were able to explain alpha decay, being the emission of an alpha particle, causing a reduction of an atom's mass number by four and a reduction of its atomic number by two. Gamow found that the bound alpha decay process looks similar to wave functions, while Gurney and Condon found the alpha decay particle state is determined by quantum mechanics. They also found that the probability of tunneling is related to the half-life of the particle. All three physicists found that the wave functions were best representations of alpha particles and concluded that quantum mechanics may be the only solution to explaining these phenomena. Due to our enhanced knowledge of quantum tunneling, modern applications of its principles have begun entering the scientific community, resulting in instruments such as scanning tunneling microscopes, touch screens, and flash drives. Scanning tunneling microscopes create images of metal surfaces at an atomic level. To achieve this, a fairly thin electrically powered tip is placed close enough to a surface to tear electrons from the metal through quantum tunneling and the resulting currents are used to determine the exact shape of the surface. In the sense of everyday technology, quantum tunneling is being util utilized to develop more sensitive touch screens that could respond to pressure more readily. And quantum tunneling is even being applied to our modern computer systems in the form of flash drives, as the drives utilize cold emission principles to allow the clearance of memory from their storage banks. All in all, much is left unknown regarding quantum tunneling but we can be sure that there will be much further research and development in this area of the scientific community.